Hey everybody, this is Paulio Jr. and the program that I wanted to show you today is actually a standalone program called Ultrasurf. And long story short, Ultrasurf uh, works through proxies and is a, like I said, a standalone program that helps you tunnel through firewalls and bypass restrictions uh, when you're connected to the internet somewhere that has uh, certain restrictions where you can't get on to Facebook or YouTube or uh, any sort of other sites that you want to check out and their firewall basically says you know you are not allowed you're not permitted to uh, visit this website and Ultrasurf was originally created uh, I believe from in China uh, because of all the restrictions that they had in China and it was a way to bypass through um, the government restrictions uh, on the internet over there so that people could uh, check out you know because I so that they could check out other websites from other countries and actually release information that uh, the government did not want the Chinese people to uh, reveal to the world but anyway um, I love this program because um, there's a lot of times where I'm somewhere and I can't get on the certain sites and they might not and they're not even sites that would be even considered questionable they're just ultra you know safe um, you know wh whatever the whoever the provider is whatever location you're at they're just very um, it's just very restricted because they, they just want to um, you know protect themselves and so forth but long story short <laughs> let's keep this simple uh, you want to go to ultrasurf.us and you can just click on the ultrasurf. This is so easy to, but it's just such a fantastic program. Uh, you would click on the ultrasurf free download, and this is for the PC. Uh, so um, I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to save it, uh, save as, and I'm just going to throw it on the desktop u.zip, and it's completed. It's not a very big file, it comes in a zip format. And from there, I'm going to close out Internet Explorer right now. And I'm going. I'm, all I'm going to do is drag. Is you would just drag this over, which I already have, so it's already right here. But you would just drag this over to the desktop, and it would extract. And like I said, it is a standalone program, so it's not going to install on your programs list. So we're going to double click on this guy, uh, and then from there, it's going to connect and it automatically opens up into Internet Explorer. That is the default one. So I minimize that. Uh, I'm just gonna go to, and you can typically just leave that first one checked off and because there's a difference in the speed of the different servers of the ultra, the ultra surf proxy servers. Uh, so just leave that first one checked. You really don't have to do much after this. You can play with the options a little bit. It's nice because it um, you can check off, you know, if you want to start Internet Explorer automatically or whatnot, and then it also can delete all of your uh, your history and your cookies and all that good stuff uh, once you are done using, once you're done surfing the web and using uh, Internet Explorer. So you, at the same time, uh, you're also uh, surfing the web anonymously. Uh, your IP address definitely changes. I've already um, tested it out. And what was cool was even though uh, the default program that Ultrasurf comes up with is Internet Explorer, even when I went into Google Chrome, my IP address has, had changed as well. But uh, I do know that uh, the Ultrasurf was designed in particular for the for Internet Explorer. So we're just going to use Internet Explorer and this is the newest version for Windows 7 which is uh, Internet Explorer uh, 11. And so basically if you're at uh, you know if you were at Starbucks or for instance recently I was actually at um, I was on the, the Greyhound. I, was, I took a Greyhound trip uh, to the Midwest and I couldn't I, they had YouTube blocked as well and I believe that they probably had that blocked because they didn't want people you know eating up all the bandwidth and so forth uh, which is 
you know, which is understandable because it's it, it definitely will. And there's really there's not a whole lot of restrictions. The only thing that I've noticed, like for instance, is when it, for YouTube is when I click on the quality and I only have a couple of options uh, instead of the the multiple ones. You know, from 144 all the way up to 1080p, and that's really the the biggest difference that I've seen with YouTube. But as far as any other website that you couldn't get to before, you can now, uh, so you can go to YouTube, you can watch the videos, you can go to, uh, you know, if you want to go to Facebook or whatever other website you want to check out, any website that you want to check out that was currently blocked by the firewall is now uh, completely open. So you're tunneling through firewalls, um, your privacy is protected, it hides your IP address uh, and creates a new IP address. Uh, it'll delete your browsing history and it will work on basically every single version of Windows, um, at least as far as back as XP. I haven't, I feel as though it would work on 2000, but whatever. But it works with all versions of, uh, of uh, Windows. Uh, at least within the last 10 years so and it's really cool because you're, you're completely censored and you're just bypassing all those restrictions and that's really the best thing about it so this is just a very short video on the program UltraSurf and what you want to do uh, is basically just have it with you at all times if you're using your laptop and so forth there is not a mobile uh, app for this so obviously you have to be on a laptop or you know something running Windows and so I would basically just have uh, this file on your laptop at all times you know whenever you are you know whenever you're going out somewhere that provides you know typically free Wi-Fi or something like that and they have those firewall restrictions uh, you can bypass them very easily with this and it I've tested it with a with numerous uh, amounts of uh, a numerous amount of different websites and so forth and was able to go through and my IP address definitely changed my location definitely changed and as soon as I exited you know with the default options it deletes all of my history and all of my cookies and so forth so um, it's completely anonymous and you're able to visit any website you want so that's really the, the best explanation I can uh, say about UltraSurf and then when you're done you just exit and you have the option it pops up right there but you know close IE and uh, close Internet Explorer and exit but I did notice like I said when I was in Chrome that my IP address had also changed as well when using UltraSurf so and then it definitely <laughs> it saves it'll put these little temporary files here for the time being and then after that, uh, you can really just dump them out. You know, you can just delete them, but it's not saving any of your search history or anything like that. It's just saying, um, you know, what to do and so forth. You know, it's just giving the program. Um, it's just, those are basically just the settings that are saying, okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to clear out the, we're going to delete the cookies and delete the history and so forth. So uh, that's really it. UltraSurf is simple, easy, is very simple and very easy to use. Uh, it's completely free and it will bypass through any firewall that I have seen as far as like a public access, um, you know, connecting through public access Wi Fi and so forth. So, uh, for instance, like I said, I did it on the Greyhound bus and then from there I was able to watch uh, YouTube videos. Um, and then any other place that you're at. Uh, that has, uh, you know, that has free Wi-Fi, or that you have to, you know, do that little initial login to you go into there. Uh, as long as you have your your laptop with you, uh, just start up UltraSurf and just go right to town. As soon as this guy is connected right here, and that's the speed I have it. You know, it loads up to Internet Explorer immediately, and everything is completely cleared and brand new and fresh. So, and like I said, you have the options and all that good stuff. Just leave that first um, box checked, and that's it, and you are good to go. So, and then once you're done, exit it out, and then if, if Internet Explorer is open, it'll close Internet Explorer and exit it as well. 
uh, I haven't done too much with I haven't done too much with the other browsers but like I said in Chrome it definitely when I went to uh, what's my IP uh, it 100% changed my IP address as well so but I believe if you're like for instance like with Chrome I'm signed in in my Gmail account you know I don't know if that would save anything and so forth so I would just either I would just use what's recommended and that's Internet Explorer I don't see why you can't use Chrome if you're not logged in or why you can't use Firefox uh, as well but Internet Explorer is the default application the default um, web browser that UltraSurf was designed for and that is all I have I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this very quick review of UltraSurf uh, it's fantastic it's simple it's easy it's a standalone program uh, it eats up absolutely almost no memory and you can get to all the sites that you initially wanted to get to that you couldn't before so just make sure you have this with you you can put it you know just drag it on put it on a thumb drive or just leave it on your laptop and just open it from you can open it from your from uh, this you know, this is the C drive so you could open it from the C drive or you could open it from uh, the thumb drive as well and it'll do the same thing uh, it'll open the same way and operate in the same way as well so ultra surf um, is this the simplest uh, <laughs> easiest uh, anonymous so m there's so many adjectives I could use um, program out there as far as hiding your IP address uh, and surfing the web anonymously and not keeping any of your history or uh, cookies and cash and all that good stuff so that's all I got uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave me a comment. Later.